What's up, everyone? It's your girl, Lucifer, and I'm making this video because I'm getting ready to go to trial. You see, and do you all recall when I made videos a few months ago talking about North County Lifeline, the human traffickers, Melissa and Hump? Of course, you all do because it's on my timeline. And the purpose of this video is because I want summary judgment. This person is using my identification. I already proved that because I found the paperwork online. I found the information. I already had been tipped off that multiple people was using my identification in California. Even when I was in D.C. and Maryland and Virginia and all these places, you know, work and going to college, all this thing here. And I recently had a trial last year. You can look up my case. It's 2014 CF203555. So then you'll also know that uh, my government name is Amanda Broadnox. And it's just ironic that I got some paperwork here, darlings, to prove what I'm saying about these human traffickers. So, remember that me told you, all the people that's supposed to help the homeless, that's supposed to help the elderly, that's supposed to help anyone, they're scamming. It just so happens that with North County Lifeline, they had me locked away in a hotel room. But people were breaking in my room. They kept playing games with my funding, saying maybe we'll pay for a few days, maybe we won't. They put a man in my room. When I say in my room, in the apartment that I was in. They had me sitting in a hotel for weeks. They didn't want to give me any food. They didn't want to do anything. So luckily, I'm a businesswoman, and I was able to survive because I had money set aside. And I had already escaped the human traffickers at the Bilateral Safety Corridor Coalition. Yes, I did. Yes, I did contact the FBI because I got tired of men preying upon me and women too. It happened to me in D.C. with Mayor Adrian Fenty, with D.C. Police Kathy Lanier, and with D.C. Preacher Officer Carolyn Curry, and a fake MPD officer Cynthia Curry. So I already know what's going on in San Diego with Mayor Kevin Faulkner, with San Diego Chief of Police, David Nieslet, and all of these people that are supposed to help the homeless. I've been to all of them just recently. So let's start from the beginning here. So February, this past February of this year, you see the trial that I mentioned, I won my trial. Because Grace Reedy, a white woman at the U.S. Department of Transportation, decides to lie upon me, harass me at work when I worked there from 2008 to 2010. I won that lawsuit. And still mad about it. So this person, a white person, a white woman, so called, and Kathy Lanier, a white woman, so called, both decide to gang up on me and put eight felonies upon me, saying that I'm a terrorist. Why? Because I'm waking people up. That's not being a terrorist, got peaceful protest. You can all look me up. I ran for Ward 5 City Council. And I exposed Adrian Fenty for being a pedophile in 2008. 12. No one wanted to believe me. I exposed Kathy Lanier for stealing all the money, covering up his pedophile ways through contracting and all this thing. No one wanted to believe me. Well, why is it that Relisha Rudd went missing from the D.C. shelter, Family General Shelter, in 2016? Why is it that... <clears throat> I'm sorry, 2013. Why is it that uh, everything I said about these people true? Because Adrian's own daughter was left in a bathroom and intended to be sold. Same thing they're doing in San Diego. And I figured this out because every shelter I went to while I'm waiting trial, every jail or halfway house that I went to while I'm waiting trial, I was abused, like everyone. I was at the D.C. jail, abused there. I was at Piedmont Regional Jail, abused there. Greater Law Enforcement Center, abused there. Uh... Where else? Baltimore Jail, abused there. The Western Regional Detention Facility, abused there. The U.S. Homeland uh, Security Facility, out to Mesa. That facility wasn't supposed to be there. Abused there as well. So I'll stop me from going to trial. Now, why are you out to get the transcript from a trial? Number one, I admit that I'm a witch. That witch. Black witch. My name Queen Lucifer the Bazaar. So that's a fact. Ain't nobody new to that terror. And number two, I explain, I don't touch anyone, I don't have to do anything to anyone, because it's called magic, darling, and I'm that girl, that black girl magic. And you keep messing with me, you keep calling the police on me, saying I'm doing all these things, lying. I, I decided to put a spell on your asses, how about that? I decided to use the police against the same people using the police against me. Because you run my background, never had a criminal history, never did drugs a day in my life, never been a prostitute, none of them things. I just talk about my days as a teen, run away, when I was selling cocaine. So you think you can prosecute me for that shit, let it see you try. 
Mm-hmm. Cause it wasn't about to be a hole. And I've been escaping here with my chop crust for many years. So let's get to cracking. So I decided I won my case. I'm gonna come back out here. Carl and Curry uh kidnap my children. And this is supposed to be a black person. Yeah, fucking red. So why is it that all these people from DC is harassing me out here? Well you don't believe I go to the University of San Diego? I had to file a petition, y'all. Because these people mess with my life so much, follow me around, doing all these things to me. That guess what? I had two withdrawals from school and I had to write a personal statement. Now I'll tell you that Alpha Project, Alpha Project, y'all, they are nothing but human traffickers. You know why I know? Because I was at the convention center. There you go. I was at the convention center. Human traffickers. Now you want to see the proof? That I was at all these places and had to call the police and all these people, the bilateral safety Com corridor coalition, North County Lifeline, Salvation RME. Just today I went to Catholic Charities. They refused to help me. So the Rachel's Women's Center on 8th Avenue. Don't do not dumb dumb money to them. They're not helping no one. I come in there. You see how me dressing me. I have St. John's Bay on, darling. They can't afford it. Jewelry, everything. I'm a nice woman. I take care of myself, you see. And I don't need their stinky ass place. But they're gonna tell me they won't do intake. I said, no, 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 I called 211 and 211 told me that you're supposed to help homeless woman out here as a homeless woman. Why you won't help me? Well, we decide case by case basis. Okay, so what's the criteria for your case by case basis? Because you're not supposed to be doing that lady. She couldn't tell me the case by case basis, the criteria exactly because there is not your racist and you're discriminating against me and you're suffering this woman. I read the reviews. Why don't y'all fucking read the reviews about these people? Exactly. So here we go. Look at all these time I had to go to the police. Look at all them police reports. Look at all them fucking numbers. And it just so happened I called the police in Vista about Melissa Hop. They refused to do something. This bitch is a whole fraud. I got the receipts, y'all. So I have, I'm going to be leaking all of this because now the reason why I can't get a job is because this bitch put a restraining order against me. The same thing Grace really did. The same thing Kathleen Nair did. The same thing Carolyn Curry did. And I've never touched no one. I just told him, I'm a witch, you're a demon, I put a spell on you, I expose you, and your ass going to jail. That's how you confront a human trafficker. They're trying to human traffic me, y'all. I was not going for it. What the fuck wrong with y'all? Human trafficking stops. I've been running from these idiots since I was a child. They've been trying to touch on me since I was a child, y'all. They touch on children. So here go all this report right here that I had to put on the look about it. Bilateral Safety Corridor Coalition. Oh, babies. Let me just getting started. So I uh, I called the police the other day about Alpha because I got a man. I got his ass on video. I'm about to leak all these videos like I did before. Harassing me, following me around, wants to date, all this shit. What is wrong with people? You don't have a right to go on homeless woman. Oh, you want to see where I used to work? Y'all want to be out in my fucking business? Here's my name. I'm on to see Broadnox. There you go. That's how they track me through my phone number, y'all. That's how they track all of us. Electronic harassment. So I'm going to show y'all that. All they're doing is the same shit, trying to stop me from speaking up. Because now it's like, oh, we don't want you to get a job. We don't want you to get anything. Why, you want me to be on the ground so you can uh, abuse and harass me? Because they touch on children, y'all. And I figure out, if I escape one human trafficking house, why you never give me therapy? Why you never have no one sit down with me? You don't have major depression. So it's like you're purposely putting me in stressful conditions, trying to get a response out of me. They put a dirty man in my build in uh, the apartment with me. And this man, you're not supposed to be putting men with women. If you are transgender, you don't have a vagina, you're not a woman. End of the story. You don't deserve to be living with women, following me around. And this bitch brought a dirty, a little boy in there. And I immediately left and called the police. I said, she's not supposed to be bringing nobody child in here. And she got mad. I said, you're not supposed to be touching that boy. I seen that shit. You look at 